going on guys welcome back to a new video it's your boy jnark aka crystal world it's been a while since we last made the, our washington football team video and the, um the kyle pitts on the falcons but we are back today with the seahawks rebuild i realized as i was looking through the teams that i haven't done yet that i haven't done the seahawks and so that's what we're going with so with the roster we have we have just a couple of the draft picks that they drafted we have um Dwayne eskridge i know it's he's one of them he's the rookie from western michigan pretty fast player i believe that's why they drafted him but we have all the updated signings that they went after like for example gabe jackson and gerald everett so that's that's what the team is looking like there um defense defense is not looking too bad not not the greatest and they also have this rookie i think oh no, not rookie that's just al woods that's al woods but the team's not too bad not too bad eight through offense 79 defense with russell leading obviously will obviously make the playoffs but um, I'm going to set the players up to who I want to be trained. So, oh, okay, so they did do it properly. We have Damian Lewis, Dwayne Eskridge, and Jordan Brooks. Perfect. The players that we wanted to get trained anyways. So, um, we're going to send to the end of the season and see how we do without touching them. So, it looks like we didn't make the playoffs. We ended up going 6-10, and 10, so worse than in the division, which I was not expecting considering that we have Russell Wilson leading the way. But obviously, without help, Russell Wilson can't do much from what we can see. So... Niners ended up winning the division. Our offense was 29th. Russell Wilson had a down year, and our defense was 9th. So we had a top 10 defense. Russell Wilson threw 21 touchdowns, 6 picks, but not too well. Chris Carson didn't have a bad year either, but I guess it was the receivers that didn't do too well. But our defense was where it was at, obviously, with Bobby Wagner leading the way. But we didn't get any sacks as defense, so it was probably just about play calling. But since we had a down year, so we have to really rebuild them now. And um, let's look at the playoff bracket, see who made it in. These are the teams that made it in. Giants made it. Very interesting. Um, Chargers made it in the Patriots. Okay. That's interesting enough. But let's send to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is Chargers Saints. So Drew Brees versus his old team. That's interesting. I wonder how that will go. Chargers end up winning. So in Justin Herbert's rookie year, he wins MVP. Deshaun Watson won MVP. I mean, Justin Herbert's rookie year, he wins the Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson wins, wins MVP. Tom Brady wins Offensive Player of the Year. Justin Fields wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Duncan Sue wins Defensive Player of the Year. And Isaiah Simmons wins Defensive Rookie of the Year. Interesting. Very interesting to see. We have three players ready to negotiate. So we had three players on the contract. Josh Gordon's gone. Center Kyle Fuller's gone. And Geno Smith as quarterback is gone. So I guess everyone was already under contract, so... We're just going to let those guys go, of course. We have $34 million available in cap, which is nice to see. Quarterback, Russell Wilson, the GOAT, of course, going to keep him around. Uh, receivers, we have DK, Ty Lockett. We're good there. Tight ends are pretty good. Left tackle, we have Dwayne Brown when he's regressing. So, yeah, Dwayne Brown's regressing. So, we're going to have to sign someone just to back him up, like Roderick Johnson. Left guard, Damian Lewis, not too bad. Center, just Ethan Posick, but it's not too high of an overall either. So, but I feel like our biggest need would probably be right tackle. Yeah, right tackle would probably have to be our biggest need. So, I guess a big signing of Morgan Moses wouldn't be too bad. Provide solidarity at that position. Left end, we have LJ Kali and Benson Maioa, not too good. We have D tackles, we just Puna Ford and Nika Dimit. But we're going to have to address that as well. Carlos Dunlap's here too. There's not really that much good um, linebackers from what I could see. We have Bobby here. A good number two would be like Damian Wilson. And just to back him up. But still nothing too solid though with this draft. With this um, free agency. One person we could sign though is Gary and Conley. Good corner, good size on him. I don't think it would be too bad. Quandre Diggs and Jamal Adams are still here. <coughs> So we get Morgan Moses, Damian Wilson, backups. Okay. So what we're going to want to do now is look at the team, see what players we... So receivers, we're going to keep them the same. Dwayne Eskridge is going to be our guy here, of course. Uh, tight ends are still fine. Dwayne Brown, I do want to get rid of. I feel like we'll be able to find some... Uh, we, might, we might be able to find someone in the draft that could uh, help us out. So what I'm going to want to do here is trade away Dwayne Brown from the Texans. I mean, from the Seahawks. See if we get a right end from a team. So any team that has like a somewhat of a decent right end, like maybe like Christian Wilkins, not gonna go through. I don't wanna just cut him for nothing, but if I have to, I will. 
Maybe Derek Barnett. No. So we're going to have to end up cutting Dwayne Brown because of old age. But I feel like he will get signed somewhere. He will get signed somewhere. So there's no hope lost there for him. So let's let's release uh, Dwayne Brown. We free up some cap just for next season's um just for next season on how uh, that plays out. And let's see if with the right tackle position, what we have going on there, if there's anyone that we could release. So we have Brandon Shell and Cedric Obui. So Brandon Shell, we're gonna release him as well, as obviously he didn't do too well for us. Currently, so our corners are pretty solid. Quandre Diggs and Marquise Blair, so pretty good. So we're gonna leave that alone. See if any of the other free agents we want after sign wants to sign. We have fifth year options we have to pick up. Rashad Penny, hell no. Why would we pick him up? We have Chris Carson. We have Chris Carson, so I'm not gonna pick his, up his option. That was still one of the dumbest picks the the Seahawks could ever draft, but hey, that's them, right? So let's start drafting. We don't have a first round pick. We have a second round pick though. So let's advance to that. So the second pick in the draft, I feel like it's best if we go for a left tackle. And from the looks of it, there's none available. But there's a, a, a right tackle that's available, and there's a center. Preston Pope is an early first round center. Maybe we could trade away um maybe we could trade away Ethan Posick. Yeah, so that's not bad. We pick up a center, trade away Ethan Posick for a right tackle. Not too bad. Not too bad of a move that we could. So now we're in this fourth round. With the players that are available, these are scouted. A D tackle would be lovely. I feel like a D tackle should be the position we go after. If we can find a first round talent D tackle, no, we do not. But we have Moses Presley, mid second rounder. He's a run stopper. We'll pick him. So since we're in the fifth round now, I feel like it's best if we go for a left end. We'll go Nick McGee, just for depth purposes. After recap, after we drafted him, they drafted the back of left tackle, right end, and receiver. Not too bad. Not too bad. So what we're going to want to do here is trade away Ethan Posick, see if we can get a left tackle for him. Rob Abenstein probably wouldn't work. Wow, it did. I did not expect that to go right through. I did not expect that whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so I guess we can move someone to left. We can move like, who would be better at left tackle? Um, I don't know, but I was not expecting to pick up Rob Havenstein. So I guess Rob would be better at left tackle. So he's gonna get his money he wants to playing at that position. So I guess that's what we'll go with. Rob to left. He's a 6'8 tackle. He's very agile. Um, I think he'd be a great addition for Russell Wilson's blind side. So we make him a left tackle. He's an 80 at that position. We have an 85 offense now with having a Rob at left tackle. So now we have some solidarity on the offensive line. Russell Wilson's protected. Receivers are still the same. Um, tight ends are pretty good. So I have a feeling that um, we'll be pretty solid this year. D-line is still not the greatest, but we'll have a secondary to play off well. So let's see how they do and listen to the playoffs. So we didn't make the playoffs again. We ended up going thir three and 13. All right, what is going on here? How did we go three and 13? We went worse. We only won three games is what they're telling me. We won three games. The Seahawks would never just win three games. There's a problem here. Russell Wilson threw 26 touchdowns, 14 picks. Okay, Chris Carson did nothing. Running backs did nothing. The receivers were all right. Okay. Defense, no defense whatsoever. Okay, so we obviously have a glaring issue here. Um, let's see how many times Russell Wilson got sacked. He got sacked 37 times. Okay, so. Damn, what the hell? 3 and 13 for the Seahawks? That's never happened to Russell Wilson before. Super Bowl is Browns, Cowboys. The winner are the Browns. They wash them. Baker wins MVP. And Cardinals did pretty solid this year. So, all right, we have 17 players ready to negotiate. I know a lot of people are gonna want to leave because we're not really winning that well that much. So, we have to give some huge, huge bonuses just to keep people around. So we get Jamal Adams back. Quandre Diggs doesn't want too bad of a deal, so I'll keep him around. He's going to test our free agency. That's fine with me. Michael Dixon, punter. We get him back. 
Will Disley is a young tight end, a young number two tight end with Gerald Everett, so we can we should keep him around. Trey Flowers is a solid corner. His morale went down obviously because we keep losing. We had a three and thirteen season. Rashad Penny, we're gonna let go. DJ Reed is pretty solid as well. So let's see if we keep him around. We do. Morgan Moses, we're gonna let him go. All these guys here. I have no reason to keep them. They're, they're not beneficial to the team whatsoever. They haven't done anything. <laughs> so we have $35 million available in free agency. This year's free agents are pretty nice. We have Jair, who's a free agent. We also have Wyatt Teller, Tyron Matthew. Tyron Matthew would be very interesting to pick up for the team. But So first and foremost, at quarterback, Trey Lance is a free agent. That's very sad to see. But we're gonna sign Tyler Henneke to the to the deal. So we're gonna see if he wants to keep that around. Running back, we just have Chris Carson, but as you can see, he didn't do much. So we're gonna sign Trey Sermon. We don't even need to sign Trey Sermon. We can just draft a running back who'll do nice. Receivers are still DK and uh, Tyler Lockett. Tight ends are good. Left tackle, we have Rob Abenstein still there, but they have Christian Darisol, who's a young left tackle. I want to see if we can pick him up and maybe move the team around. At center, we have that kid Pope who we drafted. who was, was pretty solid, so we're just going to draft his back up. If we could get that left tackle, we can move uh, Havenstein back to right tackle, which would be pretty nice. Give him back to his original position. Um, I want to sign Austin Corbett and then move around Gabe Jackson, see if we can get some value for him. Because we need to address the pass rush situation because it is not looking too good at all whatsoever. So, left end, we got we signed John Franklin Myers. Right end, we got to get rid of Carlos Dunlap. Not the sideline backer. We got to, yeah, let's release some players first. Let's release some players that are just taking up at left tackle. We're going to put Rob Havenstein back. His morale went down, obviously. Oh, almost released him. His morale went down, obviously, because we went 3-13. and 13, So, that would that'll kill everyone's mood. But we move him back to right tackle. And then, um left end we just have a bunch of young guys but they're not cutting it out Carlos Dunlap I'm releasing him Carlos Dunlap's gone we just have Puna and Presley so the second attack tackle would be pretty nice Alden Smith you're regressing heavily so we're gonna get rid of you too we haven't done much middle linebacker Bobby's regressing so we're gonna keep around for one more season then it's that it's time for him to go obviously um, cornerbacks we have a lot of deep cornerbacks so I'm not too worried about that position Strong safety. We just need backups for Marquise Blair. Actually, we could sign someone. Honestly, we could just sign someone. Let's see if um, I want to get Jair. I really do. I really want to get Jair. Even though we can't afford him, like I want to get Jair. Even though it would be retarded for us to even go after him. I hope he declines us. Tyler Henneke, accepted, accepted, accepted. So Jair actually ends up signing with us. Oof, was not expecting that. So... Jair ends up signing with us, signs for some big money. We have Christian Darisol now, left tackle. Everyone's overall went down, but, 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 but. That's okay, because we just got Jair. We just signed him to some money. So, I guess that's okay. I guess. <laughs> Gabe Jackson. Um, He's 31. Let's see what we could trade him for, like, I don't know. They said we need a right end. Let's see if we can trade him for a right end. Gabe Jackson for a right end. Still, He's only 31, so he still has, should have good value left to him. Yes, no one finds Gabe Jackson valuable, which is kind of bullshit, considering he's still very solid. Um, let's see. Let's go to a team that has a right end or has two that they don't need. So how about Quentin Whitfield? Let's see if we give them... Actually, no. I want, I want Derek Barnett. I want Derek Barnett because he fits the scheme. But they're not that interested. But so let's see. We'll throw in Gabe Jackson. And like we still don't even have a first round pick because we gave it all away. So we get a right end, we get rid of Gabe Jackson, not too bad. Um now we look at how much we have in free agency. We have two million available. Tyron Matthew's still a free agent. I would love to get Tyron Matthew. I would love to. Put him at free safety, perfect. But it looks like we cannot. So Andrew Billings, if we could give him like a very cheap deal, if we could sign him, that'd be nice. I doubt it, but nothing yet. We have fifth-year options here. 
No, we're not picking up LJ Collier's fifth year option. I'm good on that. We're good on that one. Let's go to our ne our ne the next week. Andrew Williams ex declined us, of course, because it was really a really low deal. So now we're here at the draft. We still don't have a first round pick because we gave it to Jamal Adams, of course, but we have the first pick in the second draft. So in the second round, I meant to say. So let's see how that goes. With our first pick, let's see who's available. We have a cornerback here, Gerard McLean, who's available. We have a safety here in Kadeem Young. Um, I want to see if there's any first-round talent available. We got D-tackle, Will Shepard, late first-rounder. Tyrese Belton, mid-first-rounder. Mid we have wide receiver Ben Johnson, early first-rounder. Pretty good, but we don't need a, a receiver, I don't think. So, um, D-tackles are, of course, in abundance. So, getting a D-tackle wouldn't be too bad because that's the position we needed. So, we got Will Shepard here, who's a late first-rounder. We also have Deacon, Deacon, uh, Deacon Hatchet, who's a mid. Cole Sawyer, who's a late. Cesar Threo is a late. Okay, so we have Cole Sawyer, who's a mid. Oh no, it was Deacon Hatchet. So we're gonna we're gonna sign him, or we're gonna draft him. So he'll be our number two. With our next pick in the draft, obviously, let's see who's available. We're in the third round now. Ben Johnson, receiver, still here. Got some right ends who are still here. Um. We have Marquise Younger, late second rounder. And we have Taekwon Carlise. So Taekwon Carlise, I think we should get him even though he's a mid third rounder. We'll pick him up. He'll be our backup. And then we'll leave the rest of the draft to the simulation and see how they do with it. If look at the draft recap. After that, we end up getting a middle linebacker, a running back, a cornerback, and a right outside linebacker. So I think so far we're better off than we've ever been because we have an 88 offense and 83 defense. We have solid positions everywhere. A lot of solid players everywhere. Chris Carson is still injured, which I didn't know about. His complete MCL tear will be back in three weeks. Offensive line is pretty solid, though. We have Rob Amistad back at right tackle. Tight ends are looking pretty good. Um, defense, we just don't have a left outside linebacker or a right outside linebacker, which is something we probably should try to address. But maybe we could trade one of the corners we have for um, a left outside linebacker. Let's see how that goes, actually. We have a crap ton of corners here. Well, I'm not mad about having because it's always good to have an abundance of players, I believe. But no one has trade value, which pisses me off. Like, I don't know why no one has trade value. Like, Garyon Conley should have value, like, for a lot of teams. But he doesn't. He's only a yellow. Like, I don't know if that's realistic. Because, like, come on now. He's a young corner. All right, Logan Wilson. Not interested. We probably should go for a guy who fits our scheme. A guy that fits our scheme, obviously, would be better. Micah Parsons is here, though. Obviously, they're not going to do with Micah Parsons. Let's change up the scheme of the defense. I feel like that's that's what could be holding us back, too. So, let's see what we could change it as. And um, offense, West Coast, zone run, 60%. Vertical zone run to 76. So I'm changing it to vertical zone run. 4-3, cover 3. We changed the 4-6 defense, we're in 82. We changed the base 4-3, we're 73. We changed the base 3-4, we're in 82. We don't, we don't even have the linebackers for a 3-4 defense. But a 3-4 would help us out a lot. Because we would just have Puna Ford in. Um, it would just be Bobby. No, but they would make, they would make Jordan Brooks rush. It would make Jordan Brooks rush, so I don't want him rushing. A 3-4 under. Um, we would need a power rusher, which would be a problem. Disguise 3-4. Hmm. If we change to 4-6, we get a run stopper. And we just need the same thing with run stoppers, so. I'd rather be run stoppers than us be like, yeah, let's go with a run stopping defense so we can have, um, players that uh will really help us out i don't want to go for sacks we're just gonna go for like people trying to stop the run which is pretty solid i feel like so and the d-line has the players for it and um let's see if we can trade gary on conley for a court for a left that's a linebacker still so let's see gary on conley he has a lot of value everywhere so 
Gotta see who's available for him. Darius Leonard obviously would be a great run stopper. Bernard McKinney. Bernard McKinney, we wouldn't have the they wouldn't have the cap room to take him. Sean Bradley's a 70 overall. I don't want him. Dre Greenlaw, Lorenzo Carter, Josh Allen. Blake Cashman would be too bad. Oh, they're interested. We give them they want a right guard. We don't have one for them. At middle linebacker, what do we have? Connor Barton. Give him Connor Barton and Garyon Conley for Blake Cashman. We address the left outside linebacker position, which is pretty solid to me. Um, we don't have running backs. I'll say that. We don't have any running backs. Oh, it's supposed to be a right outside linebacker. What am I doing? We didn't need... Uh, right. We didn't need a, a freaking left outside linebacker. It was a right outside linebacker. Great job. All right, we moved into right outside. Hopefully that changes something for the defense. Okay, so either way, they'll have Jordan Brooks playing the other side. That's fine with me. Um, we do that. We also need to sign a running back just for um, just for the sake of uh, Chris Carson being injured. So we have Todd Gurley there, so it'll be our number two. And then we should be pretty solid, so let's send to the playoffs. Oh, we didn't make the playoffs again. We went 8-8, eight and eight, though. Everyone went 8-8. Eight and eight. So we got a bounce back year, but still not what we wanted. Still not exactly what we wanted. If we look at the, um, we finished with the 88 overall offense, 84 defense. Our offense was first in the NFL. We had the number one offense, and our defense was 28th. Russell Wilson had a year. He had 40 touchdowns, 14 picks, 4.7K passing yards. Chris Carson's had 1,100 rushing yards and six, uh, seven TDs. Okay. Dwayne Eskridge, 11 TDs, 1,200 yards. I'm telling you, that kid's nice. That kid is super nice. Defense wasn't where it was at, but we did get more sacks than before. We did start winning more, so that's what I like to see. Our offense was number one. Our offense was number one, which is a pretty good sign. That's a pretty good sign. Super Bowl is Browns, Cowboys again. Let's see who takes that. Cowboys this time beat the beat the Browns. Let's look at the season recap. Patrick Mahomes won MVP. Offensive player of the year went to Russell Wilson. And Dak won MVP. So Cowboys, Browns, they have that rivalry going on. We have 16 players ready to negotiate with. Um, we have DK. Definitely deserves a contract extension. After all, he's DK Metcalf, our guy. We get him back. Chris Carson, I don't know how I feel about him. But he did rush for 1,000 yards, so... We're going to keep him around. He did bounce back, so we'll keep him around. Bobby Wagner, we're going to let go because he's getting old now. He's only an 80, so we're going to have to go for a new middle linebacker, of course. We have Blake Cashman, we get him back. Tyler Lockett's pretty pretty old, but we'll make an exception if he accepts it. If he doesn't, he's going to walk, so that's what he's going to do. He wants to walk. Puna Ford, our star D tackle, who's only 5'11". Been praying pretty well. We'll keep him around. Gerald Everett, our other tight end. We definitely want to keep him around. Rob Havenstein. See what, what you want. You want a one year deal. Let's see if you accept that. He does. You go Umadi. He's one of our depth corners. Pretty solid though. So he signs with us. Jason Myers is our kicker. Jason Myers is our kicker. We get him back. Marquise Blair. He's been pretty solid. We're going to see if we give you that light deal. He does. LJ Collier. We're going to let you walk. Damian Wilson. As just a backup, if you sign that, that'd be pretty solid. He wants to walk. So we we'll let these guys go. Let's see if uh, we can release anyone that we think won't be able to make the team. Um, Russell Wilson, we're definitely not getting rid of you. There's not a chance in hell we would do that anyways. We have Bobby Wagner, who I want to release. Hi to Bobby. He's goaded, but I'm going to have to let him go. And then the other positions we have here, we have Quentin Whit Whitfield, who we definitely are keeping. Even though he didn't really amass that many sacks. But changing the defensive scheme and offensive scheme really helped us out. So I'm very glad to see that. But to get rid of him, we'll go into free agency. Oh no, I gotta look at LJ Collier. See if we could get some money out of him before we release him. Before we let him walk into free agency. LJ Collier, nothing. So we would get a penalty. So we're letting him go. Let's advance to the next week. All right, so we have 12 million available in cap room. We were able to re-sign some of our guys. Um, middle linebacker is a position of need now. We only have one. His name is Gaddis or Gaddies. So we're gonna sign Gerard Davis. Just in case we're not able to sign anyone else, we have uh, some young players here. 
to help us out. We have Blake Cashman and Jordan Brooks. And then I'm pretty sure I changed Blake Cashman to the left outside, but we're good at those positions. Cornerbacks were very solid. Safety were still very solid. Um, we just need a backup. We'll give him, actually, we can give him a cheaper deal than that. I feel like that's a little too much. Give him a little too much right there, but that should go through. Kicker, punter, running back is still pretty solid, I feel. Need a, eh, why not get a fullback? Glenn Ford, why not? offensive line is looking pretty good, looking pretty stout. So, I just want a backup guard. I don't think that would be too bad. Ben Frederson wants a one-year deal. Get him. So, let's advance to next week, see if we get any of these uh, backup role players to sign with us. We do, we get the middle linebacker, we get a fullback, so not too bad. Jair is back from injury. And then we also get the guard and safety, so that's pretty good. Fifth year options, let's see who the fifth year option is on. Jordan Brooks, yes, we do want to keep him around. We went 8-8, eight and eight, so we're not going to have that low draft pick, but let's see... So we have the 12th pick in the draft. So this is our first round pick. This is our first first round pick in a while because we gave away two for Jamal Adams. So the players here, Tyler Foreman, Bradley Young, early first rounder. He's a speed rusher. We have Kari Dowling, mid first rounder. Um, it says we need a left outside linebacker like bad, like bad, bad. But we can get someone in the second round like Edward Brown or, or Austin Park. So I'm not really too worried about that. Middle linebacker's position, I'm thinking like we should kind of go after, but there isn't really anyone here that piques my interest. And right outside linebacker, they have James Waldron. He's an early first. He fits our scheme. Let's let's pick him up. 75 overall, not too bad, not too bad. Then with the players available here now in the second round, we have Jerry McNeil, free safety, late first rounder. We'll pick him up. We picked him up. You know, hence my name is Jerry, so why not? Now in the third round, let's see what's available. I think we should go with a receiver here. There aren't any good receivers apparently, so that's kind of crazy because that's how much they scouted. But scouted players, we don't need another D tackle. A middle linebacker wouldn't be too bad. A guard, a first round guard is here in Richard Banks. So let's 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 pick him up. Let's pick him up. Why not? Definitely pick him up. Um, let's admit to the end of the draft. I want to see what the team, if we look at the draft recap now, after getting a, they had drafted a D tackle, a receiver, a right end, and a right tackle. So that was a pretty solid draft, a very good draft. And what we're going to want to do here is I want to change the linebackers up. So I want to keep Jordan Brooks at his side. Offense is looking pretty nice. We have Dwayne Eskridge now in the number two role. Offensive line is still pretty solid. We have a new guard who should be interesting and if he gets playing time or not. At the linebackers position, we have Waldron and Blake Cashman here. But what I think I'm going to do is move Blake Cashman to the middle linebacker position. Yeah, we move Blake Cashman to the middle linebacker position. He's 27. I feel like he'll be able to he'll be able to be a good leader in the middle. So I know he used to play middle linebacker for the Jets. So it's not going to be anything too different. His first year in the offense. So let's see how he is. He's a 75 when it comes to being a middle linebacker. But we'll have the rookie starting, and then we have Jordan Brooks helping him out too. So that's not going to be too bad. And then we have a good... I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I feel like we'll be pretty solid here. Um, yeah, this should be. This will probably be the year we make the playoffs. We're just going to move McNeil to the starter to start over Blair. And honestly, we should be good. We should be good to go. So let's into the next week. Rod Davis available. We'll play again with 84 offense, 83 defense. A little lower than how we started last year, but I think we'll be pretty good this year. So let's send to the playoffs and see how we do. When we didn't make the playoffs again, we went 7-9. and nine. Dude, the Seahawks must be cursed, dude. There's no way that we don't make the playoffs every single year. Offense was 17th, so a down year for the offense, I guess. And defense was what? No rank on it. 21 touchdowns, 8 picks for Russell. Running backs were whatever. DK had 989 yards. It's whatever too. All right, how many times did how many times did our boy get sacked? Let's see. Let's see that actually. He only got sacked 15 times. He only got sacked 15 times throughout a whole season. That's pretty nice. John Franklin Myers at seven sacks. Nick McGee at five. Quint Quentin Whitfield at five. 
Jerry had two picks. We had a good amount of interceptions all over the board, but what the hell happened? What happened? We can't seem to push ourselves over to, to get to the promised land of making the playoffs. It's been like three, four years now. I think that was our third year. Chiefs just won a Super Bowl. Let's see the recap. Ryan Tannehill won MVP. No one from our team got anything here. We have 16 players ready to negotiate with Russell Wilson. He's going to want a one-year deal. He's regressed to 90 overall. I guess is this is where we let him walk because he regressed this much. Damn, I wasn't expecting to be that quick, but from the looks of it, that's what we're going to probably have to do. Sign back our guard. Austin Corbett. Rob Avenstein wants like a cheap one-year deal. Give him that. He's going to test out free agency. Christian Darasaw from Virginia Tech. We get him back. Damian Lewis is pretty solid, so let's see if we give him this deal. We get him back. Jason Myers. Let's see if we get him back on a deal. He thinks free agency would be better for him. Go for it. We have Alton Robinson, a backup DN, a depth receiver. Let's see if we get him back. Kobe Parkinson, a depth, a th our third tight end. So we get him back as well. DJ Dallas, I'm let walk. Ben Fredrickson, we don't need. Darrell Taylor, 890K. If he accepted, that'd be nice. All right, so he does. Then Rob Hammond's line of Francis Tech would be 13 mil. DJ Reed is a corner here. Plays slot for us. He's back. Let's see if Russell wants to accept this. If we franchise tag Russell, it'd be 39 million, so it'd be below cap. So we're gonna let Russell walk and Rob Havenstein walk. Very interesting choice of things we'll do, but we'll have 35 million available in cap. Tristan Worse is a free agent. I'm gonna break my bank for Tristan Worse, so I'm gonna do everything in my willpower to pick up this kid. He's a star right tackle, so why wouldn't we? Quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, a free agent. Maybe Aaron Rodgers would do better in this. Let's see. Maybe we try Aaron Rodgers. Maybe we give him a deal. Maybe we give Aaron Rodgers a deal. Let's see. Let's see if Aaron Rodgers signs with us. To be with the Seahawks, we get Aaron Rodgers and Tristan Wirfs. All right. So we have a one-year deal with Aaron Rodgers with this offense. Can he get the job done? Because look at this team we have. Look at this goaded team we have. Aaron Rodgers, we picked you up because I feel like you'll be able to help us get to where we need to be. We have a very stacked team, so there's no reason why we wouldn't be able to get to where we needed. So, honestly, like, we have no money left, but we just got a premier right tackle, and we got it. We got Aaron Rodgers. So, what more do we need? Well, there's not really much that we need now. So, let's send to the draft. Start drafting. We have the 17th pick in the draft. Maybe we could draft a quarterback. <laughs> Maybe we draft a quarterback, just in case. Um, there isn't a quarterback here, so we're gonna have the draft with next year. Nice Chauncey Farley's a middle linebacker. We have Donovan Claxton um, I'm gonna go with Chauncey Farley We'll pick him up just in case Blake Cashman experiment doesn't work out And then I want to get a running back here There's none. They have no good scouted players here. I Mean they do but it's nothing too crazy. Oh, I forgot we need an offensive line. Oh, no, we did. We did get offensive line. We're set. We're literally set. Hmm. I don't think we need a corner. I don't think we need a corner. But can never go wrong with corners. So I think we'll just get one. Just because we got Clay Beasley and Lionel McKenzie. Lionel McKenzie is a late first rounder. Clay Beasley is a late first rounder as well. I'm going to go with Clay Beasley. And then we're going to leave the rest of the draft up. Let's look at the draft recap now. We got, we draft a receiver again. A running back, a left us on a a right end, and a receiver. Interesting, interesting turn of events. So we have Aaron Rodgers now in the Seahawks. I hope you guys don't hate me. But we're just trying to win a chip here. We're just trying to bring this team to the playoffs. Like, that's really all this. Russell Wilson was not bringing us, and he was costing us some money. So A-Rod, you have a new team, new offense. I know you'll play well with these players. You have a great offense. I'll tell you that again. Defense is pretty stout. They'll get the job done. You have Jamal to worry about. Jair who will hold it down. And Jordan Brooks will hold it down for the front seven. So, 
Let's sim to the playoffs and see if we can do this. Oh my gosh, yo, we went three and thirteen. There's no way we keep going three and thirteen, bro. We we're not okay. We're getting a quarterback. We're getting a quarterback. We're getting a quarterback. There's no way our offense was fifteenth. Aaron Rodgers, thirty-four touchdowns, eighteen picks, ninety-nine point six passer rating. Running back was whatever. DK had okay yards, dude. We went three and thirteen. We, you're telling me we signed Aaron to go three and thirteen? That's crazy. That's crazy to me. That's insane. Our offense was 15th, and our defense was what? We had 28th ranked defense. Yo, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We suck. We literally suck. We literally... Bengals, Panthers is the Super Bowl. We literally... No, I'm not re-signing Aaron Rodgers. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what? Aaron Rodgers retired. Y you know what? <laughs> this is crazy. This is beyond me. This is beyond me. I don't blame Aaron Rodgers for retiring at all. I really don't. Blake Cashman, you got to go. I'm going to get rid of Blake Cashman. Dude, our team is solid. The Panthers lost 34-2. to two. Oh, my gosh. Joe Burrow won MVP. Zach Wilson won MVP. Dude, what is going on here? All right, all right, all right. First and foremost, we're, get, we're getting rid of some players. Jordan Brooks, we're not getting rid of you. We got to resign you. That's a five. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> this is actually crazy. Blake Cashman, we're going to re release you. I love you. You are, you are a mic, but we have middle linebackers now who want who want to wanna bang for their buck. So, yeah. Blake Cashman's gone. We have Jordan Brooks here. Star right outside linebacker. He's a run stopper. We're going to sign him. Of course, Michael Dixon, you are so annoying. If you could just... Oh, no, he's not annoying. He actually re-signed every single time. We have Cairo Santos. Cairo Santos. Okay, go. Go, then. Go. Preston Pope, premier center that we drafted. Can you please re-sign with us? Good. Dwayne Eskridge, you've been great for us. You've literally been phenomenal. He's literally been fantastic for us. So, we get him back. Puno Ford has been great on the D-line. He wants a one-year deal. I'll give it to him. We got Quentin Whitfield, who hasn't done much, so I'm glad he's asking for not too much money. So, Hugo Umadi. You've been whatever. I mean, you weren't like a game changer, so he's going to test free agency. That's fine. Marquise Blair. I want him as a backup. I just want him as a backup, so that'd be nice if we could keep him. He's going to test off free agency. Alton Robinson has been developing pretty well. So, a one-year deal, close to $4 million wouldn't be too bad. We have Moses Presley, who's good as well. Um... Let's see if we can sign him. We do. Gerard Davis. I might just let go. Nick McGee has been pretty solid as a back end, uh, backup too. Um, Gerard Davis. Yeah, we're going to let him go. Darrell Taylor wants a one-year deal. One mil. You think free agency, we better go for it. All right. So we resigned who we needed to resign. Oh, man, yo. We went 3-13 and with A-Rod. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Kenny Clark is a free agent. Quarterback John Mazzieca. Who is that? Who are all these quarterbacks? I wanted to draft someone, but hold on. Who is this guy? John Mazzieca? If we could get him, I mean, as a superstar quarterback right there. I want to get rid of Chris Carson. Yeah, let's see if there's any other players we can get rid of. I see that cr freaking... What's his name's a free agent? Well, we can't get rid of them. Can't get rid of any of these guys in the top tier right here. I mean, realistically, do we do we want to get that quarterback? I mean, how old is he? How old is he? He's 26 in his prime. All right, let's advance to next week. If he accepts it, then we're good. Oh, he did accept it. So we just got our quarterback of the future. Was not expecting that, but we don't even have any money for our free agents. But, but we could trade back in the draft. So let's see what we could do in the draft. We have the second pick in the draft. We the next pick. Titans drafted cornerback Dion Edwards. Obviously, here we have some quarterbacks we could get, like Tony Allen. Literally, it would have been only Tony Allen. Very interesting. We would have had a down here with him. Scouted. So, let's see. Um, We could go wide receiver Justin Thompson. We could go Greg Means, Phillip Streets. Early first rounder as well. Barry Kitchens, tight end. You know... Or we could go Trayvon Pierce, right tackle. Steven Pitts, a center. 
Uh, a running back. I mean, let's see what running backs they got before I go for a receiver. They got Leon Tatum, who's a late first rounder. They have Donovan Terry, who's a late first rounder. And they also have Marcus Tompkins. I want... Let's see. We got Nick Rowland, who's a mid. Justin Thompson, who's an early. Let's go Justin Thompson. 75 overall. Wanted to pick him up. And then we're going to go for a running back in, uh, in the second round because I'm tired of our guys just not being available. All right. Running backs available. We have Leon Tatum, I see here. Scouted. Leon Tatum is a late first rounder. And there's also Nate Casey, who's an early first rounder. I didn't even see him before. All right. So we pick him up. So now we have that. And I'm going to leave the rest of the draft to the, to the simulator. Draft recap. So after getting our right receiver running back, we ended up drafting quarterback in Santiago Trejo, D tackle Sharif McClendon, uh, middle linebacker Nick Frazier, and another receiver and a guard. Not too bad. Expected us to get a quarterback because um, we don't know what to expect out of uh, Johnny Mazieka. <laughs> so this is our last year to really see if we can do it. We had three years with A Rod. I mean, three years with uh, Russell Wilson did nothing. We get rid of him. We got we had um, Russell. I mean, Aaron Rodgers did nothing. Offensive line is stout, like it's a great offensive line, a great offense. We have this new quarterback in Johnny Mazieka. He's 6'5", field general, he's strong arm talent. He's great, great throwing skills. 78 speed, so he's a pocket passer. And he has quick draw and roaming dead eye, so he's pretty solid. I'm gonna look at his, can I look at his history? Stats and contracts, so let's see. So he got drafted to the Bengals. And he never got PT, and we're giving him a chance. This is going to be his first year starting for us. Holy crap. The Bengals draft him and realize, okay, so Joe Burrow's better. So this is going to be his first actual year. Oh, man. we're, we're uh, Whatever. We needed a quarterback. Let's see if we could get the job done. Our defense. I love our defense. Oh, Beasley's pretty nice, too. Okay. We got some gems. We got some gems on the defensive side. I like it. I like it. But let's see if we can get the job done and go to the playoffs. I'm hoping. Oh, my God. It's over. We went 8-8, eight and eight, though. We went 8-8. Eight and eight. We went 8-8. Eight and eight. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Like, there's something up with the simulation. This is Johnny Magic's first season. 30th on offense. 33 touchdowns, 21 picks. Ooh, that's a lot of interceptions. That's a lot of interceptions. A lot. Cameron Allen, though, did pretty nice. But that's a lot of interceptions, I'd say. A lot of interceptions. We only had three. We only got three on defense. Okay, so Johnny Mazieka, interesting. Interesting on Super Bowl's Bengals Washington football team. Bengals ended up winning. Look at the recap. Joe Burrow with his second ring. Okay, all right, all right. We have 19 players ready to negotiate with Jair. You want a one-year deal worth 18 million? Sure, why not? You're the goat. Why not? He's going to test free agency. Give you a franchise tag at 17 million. Now you can't go anywhere. John Franklin Myers. Oh my God. Everyone's going to want to test free agency, aren't they? We got to see if we can re sign somebody. We did. We got him. Austin Corbett wants a one year deal with 8 mil. He would like to play for a new team. So, all right. So, we're going to start losing players. We're going to start losing players. Decon Hatchet, we get you back. Our great D tackle. Cassius Gaddis, your star at middle linebacker, so we get you back. Freddie Swain, we got him back. CJ Walton is a cornerback who's pretty solid. I didn't even know he had. We get him back. Nick McGee, who's been playing pretty solid and been getting a lot of sacks for us. Let's see, if we get you back. We do. Glenn Ford is a fullback. Taekwon Carlisle, Carlisle, I think is how you say his name. He's going to be our backup free safety. Get him. Barry Cop, kicker. We got to focus on kickers next season. Let's get a kicker next season, man. I'm tired of having just backups. Maybe that's the reason why we're losing games. <laughs> we're going to let Puna Ford walk and DJ Reed. And then Will Disley. Give you some money if you sign it. Okay. We get him. Okay, so now we're going to look at... What's um in free agency? What's available? Who would help us out? 14 million available. Zeke is a free agent. Chris Carson is just going downhill in overall. Um, we have a great right tackle. Our tight ends are pretty solid, I'd say, but we could just sign someone. 
We just signed Travis Kelsey, but that would be a lot of money for just a one-year deal. I'm going to sign Mike Jasicki, get rid of Joe Deverett. I want to get a kicker, too, because I'm tired of not having a kicker who could uh, save us. Johnny Maziek is now an 88 overall. Still got to see how he develops because he's very interesting. Uh, so Joe Dever, we're going to let him go. He was pretty solid for us, but now it's time for us to let him walk. If there's anyone else we could get rid of for some cap room, that'd be good. But I don't think there is. Kobe Parkinson's our third tight end, so we're going to keep him around. Let's see, advance the next week. We get Mike Jasicki, so now we have that solidarity at tight end. We still have 12 million available in cap. Um, running back, Charles Etienne's 30 years old already. Okay, okay. These guys are old as hell already. And Chris Carson is not even. All right, if we can't release Chris Carson, then I'll just keep him around. But he's already he's an 80 right now. Okay, we're gonna get rid of Chris Carson. Get rid of Chris Carson. Let him go. Um, I'm gonna send to the draft now. So now we're in the draft. I wanna see if we can get a running back. 15th pick in the draft. So a first round running back shouldn't be too bad at this pick. So let's see if we can finally do it. We do. There's Joey Lindley, early first rounder, elusive back, fits our scheme. And there's also Kendall Oliver, early first rounder. We're gonna go Joey Lindley. He's ranked number two in true value. That's our new running back, our new feature back. And let's advance to the end of the draft. So now, as we look at the recap on the players we drafted, we got the round time, the receiver, D tackle, corner, receiver, corner. So we always get the skill positions a lot. So I like that about the, the draft. But this is going to be our actual final year. 87 offense, 84 defense. We have Johnny Maziak as our starter. We have a, a rookie running back, good receivers, a new tight end, and Mike Jasicki, 89 overall. We have this kid, Justin Thompson, who's a superstar X Factor at receiver. So. He's going to be a problem. We have great receivers all around. Defense, not too bad either. We have great linebackers. Jordan Brooks is a beast. Uh, D-line is pretty solid. Corners are pretty good as well. And then we also have good safeties. So this has to be the year we make the playoffs. Because if we don't make the playoffs, then I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say if we don't make the playoffs. Because that's insane. But let's advance to the playoffs and see if we can get it done. I, I'm... We went 6-10. I give up. The Seahawks are garbage. But our offense was 8th. John John Maziak. Our offense or our defense was 31st. John Maziak had 33 touchdowns, 8 picks. Nate Casey didn't do much. Lindley didn't do much. Receivers are pretty nice, of course. We have 4 receivers of over 900 yards. Yeah, I'm sorry. I tried my best with this team. They can't. And their defense is what, what kills them. That's crazy to me. That's actually insane how we have we weren't able to make the playoffs through the six years with the Seahawks. I've changed quarterbacks. I've gotten gems at quarterbacks only, and we haven't able to, we weren't able to do anything. DK's now a 99. DK's a 99 now. Like, there's nothing more I could do. There's literally nothing more I could do. So I'm gonna leave off the video there, guys. Hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe for new, comment down below what else like to see on the channel. It's been a pleasure trying to do this rebuild, but obviously the Seahawks are a very, very difficult team to rebuild for some reason, but I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, you got to be a fiend to succeed. Peace.